if statements provide the ability for programs to dis make decisions. So here we've got a page which is similar to the other ones that we've been using. There's a, one main div called the wrapper and inside of that we've got five paragraphs just so we've got something on the page that we can use. Alright, so jumping over to our script, similar setup as before, window on load equals init. This is the function that's going to run when the page finishes loading. Inside that function we have document get elements by tag name p sub zero. So this is going to get the array of paragraphs and then get the very first array uh, element from that array. So the very first paragraph on the page. We're adding an on click listener to that. That's going to call the function check time. And here's our function check time. We've got one variable inside here, var d, and that's equal to new date. Date is an object that contains all the information that you want about years, months, days, hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds. You can take a date, you can add and remove time from the date, you can change the date. Um, basically, it's all based on the time and date on the user's computer. So whatever time that they have set on their computer, that's what we're going to be getting with this date if we don't provide information inside here. Now inside those brackets we could, if we want, we could put in a date, so 2012-12-12, so December 12th, 2012. That could be put in as a date, and that would be set. But we're just going to go with whatever time is currently on the user's computer. Alright, so what does this have to do with an if statement? Well, what we want to do is we want to find out this time, find out this date, look at the seconds portion of the time and date. So it could be 12 seconds, 25 seconds, 55 seconds, 59 seconds, anything like that. We want to get the seconds, and based on the seconds, we're going to make a decision. We're going to set the background color for the paragraph that was clicked to one of three colors, depending on what time what second value this date object has. Every time the on click event listener fires, this function gets called again, and we're going to be setting a brand new date. So we're always going to be asking for the new seconds. All right, so let's get our seconds. Var sec equals d. That is our date object. That's the variable we just created. Dot get seconds. There we go. So get seconds will fetch for us a number between 0 and 59. Now the if statement, this is going to be our decision making process. We're going to say if sec, that is our variable that contains the number somewhere between 0 and 59. We'll say if sec is less than 20, this dot style dot background color equals cold mod. Okay, there we go. Now that is a basic if statement. If I can save that, I can jump over to the browser. I will refresh my page. There we go. So when I click on here, nothing happened. Try again. Hey, that time it did happen. So the seconds that we had, that we were fetching, the first time, it wasn't between 0 and 19. The second time I clicked it, it was. So the second time I clicked it, it set the background color. All right, now, that was good for that one parameter between 0 and 19, but what about all the other numbers? How do we make that decision? Well, we could do if sec is greater than or equal to 20. Move this out of the way here. And sec is less than 40. We can do this. This is another if statement. You'll notice I've got two ampersands right here. This means and. So both these two conditions have to be true for this to work. 
Now, if you've got a big long chain of these if statements, you know, if this, if this, if this, if this, what we can actually do is we can shorten it a little bit. We can go in here and say else if. There we go. So if the seconds were less than 20, do this. If the seconds is between 20 and 39, do this. Else, all other numbers do this. There we go. All right, so if the seconds are less than 20, set it to golden rod. If the seconds are between 20 and 39, let's set it to a light gray. And if we are looking at anything 40 to 59, anything in that range, then we're going to set it to that's worth with olive. There we go. So we got a golden rod, we got a gray, and we got a green. And we can switch back and forth. Now, every time we click on the page, we're going to be getting a new value for the date. Every time we click on this paragraph, this gets recalculated. So we get a new number for the date. That means we get a new number for the seconds. And we get these three. I'm just going to separate them just to make it a little bit easier to see those. So the background color is being set to light gray. If the seconds are greater than or equal to 20 and less than 40. This and is very important here. So the second can be greater than or equal to 20. So 21 works for that. 31 works for that. 41, 51, 61, 101. Any number that is greater than or equal to 20 would work for this. But I don't want to take in all the really big numbers. I want to stop at 39. So I'm saying, OK, if it's greater than that and it's less than 40. So both conditions have to be true. There is also an OR operator. So we have two ampersands means AND. And two of the pipe characters, the two vertical lines, that means OR. OK, so we'll jump back to our browser now. We'll refresh. And when I run it this time, golden rod, golden rod. I'll just keep clicking here until we eventually we should hit beyond 20 seconds. There we go. There's the light gray. Pause the video. Okay, back from pausing. And there's the green. Okay, so we've got goldenrod, or gray, or green, all based on the number of seconds that we've got inside here. One last thing that I want to take note of in here, jumping back into the JavaScript, is if, else, if, else. The reason I did that instead of just writing three if statements is, right now this is a fairly simple calculation to make, but if your if statements get larger, if your program gets more calculated, you want to try and save time, save processing time, save memory, all those kinds of things that make your program run better. In this case, if this statement were true, if the value of sec was less than 20, the program would automatically jump past these two other statements. It wouldn't have to check and see if it's this range or this range. So if that wasn't true, then it could check this one. If this one were true, it wouldn't have to do this one. So we're just trying to save a little bit of time by guiding the program a little bit and saying, OK, it's going to be one of these options.